Hi, I'm Marina. Welcome to our 13th weekly Explore at Home Science Challenge. Today, I'm going to show you how to extract your DNA from cheek cells with materials you have at home. This is a cool experiment because it allows you to see your DNA with the naked eye. DNA is kind of like a recipe book in our cells. It carries the instructions for how to make different proteins that we need for all kinds of bodily functions, such as digesting food or healing cuts in our skin. Here is what you will need to isolate your DNA. One bottle of water, a 500 milliliter or half a liter regular water bottle will do, one tablespoon or spoonful of salt, seven tablespoons or a little less than half a cup of rubbing alcohol, detergent or soap, just a drop, a cup, and a timer. You can use a phone or an oven clock. First step, mix your water and your salt. You can put the salt right into your water bottle if you want. Second step, take out three tablespoons or spoonfuls of the salty water and put them into a separate cup. Gargle it for one minute. The salty water helps to extract cheek cells. The more intensely you swish the water around in your mouth, the more cheek cells will become suspended in the water. Third step, spit the water back into the cup. Fourth step, Put a drop of detergent or soap in the cup with salty water and stir gently for one minute. Try not to create too many bubbles. All living cells, including our cheek cells, are covered by a layer of fat called the cell membrane. Soaps and detergents break open this fatty membrane, allowing the DNA and everything else in the cell to be released into the solution. This is also why washing hands with soap is so important, because soap kills harmful bacteria by destroying their membranes. Fifth step. Gently pour the alcohol into the solution. DNA does not dissolve in alcohol, so it begins to solidify where the alcohol meets the salt water. Wait around three minutes. You will begin to see white strands and clumps forming. These are thousands of DNA molecules clumped together. You can try this with strawberries, bananas, and kiwis as well, using the same ingredients. With strawberries, I used the smash mix. and weight method. There are more detailed resources to do this below. I closely observed the similarities and differences between my DNA, which is animal DNA, and my strawberries, which is plant DNA. I'm excited to see what you try this with and see your results. Beware that this experiment can be a little bit tricky, so don't be discouraged if you have to try a second time. Happy DNA hunting.